Hi, Mika. Today we will be studying the uh, uh, book of Samuel, 2 Samuel 16. 2 Samuel 16, even we would like to read some of the, the story about David. So, uh, I would like you to read, please read the whole, I mean, just uh, whole Second Samuel. And you will know that this, this is the, the, uh, David's story about David, how he was uh, went through his tribulations with his son. His son uh, uh, was uh, persecuting him and wanted to kill his own father. And just was such a tribulation he was going through. And there's uh, just one story. Here's one episode of this whole, his tribulation is just caught my attention. And long time ago, many years ago, and I read this, and it just stuck in my head, stuck in my heart. And Holy Spirit reminded me a few times in my life and still reminds me uh, how to deal with situations like this, what to do. And uh, many times I did use his, the situation that was almost, almost the situation like he had, but in different um, settings. And, uh, and this was the example, and there was just, and I followed this example of David, and it just helped my life, and it's just blessed, and it was so blessed by this story. And the strength that God gives us through uh, going through the tribulations. Here, like, I'm going to read from, uh, again, I say, 2 Samuel chapter 16, and I will be reading from New King James, and I will be reading from uh, verse 5. Now, when King David came to Bahurim, there was a man from the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shim, uh, Shima, Shimei, the son of Gira, or Gera. Coming from there, he came out cursing continuously as he came, and he threw stones at David and at all the servants of King David. And all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. Also Shimei said thus when he cursed, Come out, come out, you bloodthirsty men, you rush the oh, wrong. I know this word. Uh, the Lord has brought upon you all the blood of the house of Saul. In, the, in whose place you have reigned. And the Lord has delivered the kingdom into the hand of Abs Absalom, your son. So now you are caught in your own evil because you are a bloodthirsty man. Then Abishai, the son of Zeruah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord, the king? Please let me go over and take off his head. But the king said, what have, I, what have I to do with you, you sons of Zeruah? So let him curse, because the Lord has said to him, curse David. Who then shall say, why have you done so? And David said to Abishai and, his, all, and all his servants, see how my son who came from my own body, seeks my life. How much more now may this Benjamite? Let him alone, and let him curse, for so the Lord has ordered him. It may be that the Lord will look on my afflictions, and that the Lord will repay me with good for his cursing this day. And as David and his men went along the road, Shimei went along the hillside opposite him and cursed as he went, threw stones at him and kicked up and kicked up dust. Now the king and all the people who were with him became weary. So they refreshed themselves there. So here's the story. So this uh, a person just that, that okay. So you can you need to understand like his heart is completely broken. His own son Absalom broke his heart. He went against him. He rebelled against him, and not only rebelled against him, he did a shameful things to his father. Uh, now he's 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 go, he's trying to take his throne. He's going to kill his own father. This is the most. Painful
painful, the most painful things he's experiencing now. He's coming from this, he's running from his own son, he's coming from this journey, he's tired, he's weary, he's heartbroken. And, uh, and this man is coming uh, from, the, uh, from uh, the house of uh, Saul, and he's cursing in front of his army, in front of his people. He's cursing, and his le uh, lieutenant is asking, here, I can kill him, just they can, they can just destroy it. But he said, no, no, no. So what he was saying, he was exactly saying, with such a humbleness, and such a meek and contrite spirit, he's saying, no, let him leave him alone. Yeah? Let's just read me. Let read this, his word again. Let him alone and let him curse, for so the Lord has ordered him. The Lord, Lord let it happen. He's not only let it happen, has ordered him. It may be that the Lord will look on my affliction and that the Lord will repay me with good for his cursing this day. So he said, I am going to go. Maybe God will see this, the sorrow I'm going through. God will see my tears. God will see my humiliation. God will see me, see all these things and maybe God will pay, repay with the good things. Maybe God will see those kind of things and he, he will do something and he will bless me. And I am choosing to patiently wait upon the Lord. I'm choosing to take everything how it is and take and still praise the Lord and still acknowledge that everything comes from He, from from the Lord. Sometimes you know, in my in our lives, like I'm talking about my life. Many times in my life, I've experienced that. There are people in my life. They they mocked me. They said horrible things. They slandered. They gossip. They just said some spiteful things. Uh, to other people, they, they do some rumors, and so many times, and many times, that most of the all the time, 99.9% times, it was painful for me because uh, I did to those people uh, good. I did good. I stretched my arms, and I gave them my uh, love, and I I spoke the truth, and I just did all good, and they answered evil to my to all my goods. So and. And always, and that's why probably the Lord, in the first, early, early walk with the Lord, uh, when I was just receiving His truth, I was just coming into this, the, the Lord's kingdom, His kingdom, and learning the, the laws of His kingdom, learning about His word. Very early, when I was a baby Christian, I read the story. And then somehow, I was, I was very impressed, and I was shocked. I was so, it, it was so impressive for me to see how David reacted and I remember the story and I, I think I just like I, it was the story was hidden in my heart and uh, probably in why I, I remember the story so you know like all the time because um, my Lord knows my journey he knows what I need to go through he knows that I will be mocked I will be cursed also I will be you know slandered I was uh, you know people would do that those kind of things but he would remind me of these things. You know, it, if you read the, the, the whole story and you keep reading, keep reading, and just keep reading all this, uh, the stories in the, the, in the Old Testament, you will see what happened to this guy who cursed him, to this uh, Sh Shimei guy, uh, uh, sons of Gera. So what happened? It was horrible death. It was just so shameful. It was just, it was God always repays. He will pay, he will be, with the, the Lord says, with the wicked, he will show himself wicked. With the merciful, he will show himself, the Lord will show himself merciful. So, with the meek, he will show him meek. So, with, in, in uh, David was, it was after this deed, the Lord did reward him for this humiliation. God, Jesus, did uh, exalt David. And he reigned for 40 years, and he won all the battles. And uh, the, the wisdom with the, and he called him the man after my heart. So this is a great example for us to live. Uh, there will be situations in life, especially in our life when we will be cursed and we will be persecuted for the name of Jesus Christ. And then, you know, like the, our rewards are great. It was very great rewards. And I experienced many, many times in my life people repay evil to all the goods I've done. Even my best friends, they called me my friends, they, they just uh, 
did something pretty evil, uh, comments and said something, uh, which is, you know, I, it just, over the years, I probably got some just like, this word got stuck in me so heavily, so I'm already immune, since, since like I'm already immune to this uh, slanderers and things. Uh, it's not pleasant, but you know, this example is always in my mind, is always in my heart, so that if David went, and I can do too, and I am the anointing of the Lord too, and the Lord gives us strength. Lord, sometimes, you know, those things are sometimes evil things happen into our lives. Sometimes those things like evil people will come to our life to try to destroy. But we always need to remember that no matter what, I will give vengeance to the Lord. I will not go and, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, revenge for, for, for myself or defend myself. God is my defender. He is my defender. He is my face. He's my he's my fortress. He's my place to refuge. Refugee. He uh, refuge. He's my uh, strong tower. He will protect us with everything. He's provided his peace. Uh, so this is the story, and let the story be as an example for us, and let we us follow. This the this is one actually applies to those uh, when it says uh, pray for those who persecute you and a blessed this whole hate you. So this is what help you and help me. It helps me and helps me all the time. And thank God for this great lesson. Thank God for uh, his wisdom. And today we learned something new. And uh, may the Lord uh, just richly dwell in you through his truth and the word and, and his glory in you and in, in you walk in this and bear fruit of the righteousness because we call being righteous of Christ Jesus, we are children of God. In Jesus' mighty name, be blessed.